The fracture fragments of the distal radius are reduced and the volar distal radius plate is applied to the bone over the fracture site. The peak aiming guide is secured to the plate with the set screw. Next, the 3.5 mm non-locking screw is placed into the slotted hole of the shaft for temporary fixation. K-wire holes in the distal aspect of the plate accept 1.35 mm K-wires, which can be used to assess distal proximal placement of the plate. If the K-wires are proximal to the joint surface, then all fixed angle screws will be proximal to the joint surface as well. Once plate placement is properly achieved and verified under fluoroscopy, the drop-in drill guide is placed into the peak aiming guide and the 1.7 mm calibrated drill bit is drilled through the second cortex. The depth measurement can be read off the drill bit itself or the depth probe can be used. A 2.4 mm locking, non-locking or near cortex screw is inserted. These steps are repeated to fill the remaining head holes. The remaining 3.5 mm locking screws are placed and the final construct is evaluated under fluoroscopy for satisfactory reduction. Various aiming guide options are available in the set, including individual drill sleeves, threaded drill guides, and a variable angle drill guide, which can be used according to surgeon preference.